Today, we are fishing a tiny creek for some spawning bass. Let's go. I got her. And I'm in the tree. Oh, oh, dude. That one right there is a stud. Got him. Got him that time. Oh, oh, he got it that time. Got her. Got her. Oh, yeah. Let's go, baby. Springtime is here, and that means it is time for some bed fishing. All right, y'all, so this is a look at what our creek actually looks like. This creek is very, very shallow, and I've actually been fishing this creek for a couple years now, and I've caught some really, really big fish out of this creek. I'm talking five pounders, six pounders, and it's always in the spring when these fish move up to spawn. It is 80 degrees today. We have a full 80 degree week, and we have a full moon coming up in about a week. So these fish have got their mind on spawning, I'm really thinking that these fish are going to be in here today, but we're going to have to walk around and find out. It's literally like a jungle in here, grass and stuff everywhere. I'm probably going to get bit by a snake, but we have some bass to catch. Let's see if we can find some fish down here in this tiny creek. All right, guys. So we are down here. We've got one rod with us today, and that's all. This is actually a 7.6 heavy Super Duty rod. I brought this rod because this creek drops off like crazy. You can see over there on that bank, it's just a big drop off. It's like that on both sides. I can't even get anywhere close to touching the water with my rod. So we have the heavy rod and we also have a Luz Pro skipping reel. This is the one with the shallow spool. Really, really cool reel. I have it spooled up with some 20 pound fluorocarbon line, thick line so that way I can horse these fish up here, but also fluorocarbon because we want that stretch and we want it to be clear so the fish can't see it. The water in here today is crystal clear so the fish can see really well. If they're locked on the bed, it's not gonna matter. Which speaking of that, I see one right now on a bed. It should be a good day. We have the potential to catch some really big fish in this place and I'm really excited. The birds are chirping, the weather is beautiful. It is the best possible fishing day you could ask for. Let's go ahead and take a look at the baits that we have in the bag. See what we're gonna be throwing to catch these bass today. So I actually brought a couple packs of baits with me today, but we are keeping it very simple. I have a bunch of the mock sticks, and then I also have a bunch of the mock crawls. I have the white mock crawls, that way if we need to see the bait, we can. We also have some more natural colors, like a green pumpkin and a watermelon red. I brought a couple different colors of each. I don't even think I brought any black and blues, just mostly natural colors and white. Most of the time, that's all I need to be able to catch bed fish. And I really think that the crawl is gonna perform really well today. I love throwing a crawl up on the bed. The fish just can't resist it when it's just sitting there. But also the good old mock stick will get the job done as well on the bed. It's just a lot harder for me to throw on this rod. Normally I like to throw this on a spinning rod and there is no possible way I will land any fish in this creek if I'm throwing a spinning rod. So we're gonna be throwing the crawl for the most part, but if we do see some cruisers, we will throw the mock stick on a wacky rig. But let's go ahead and dive into this. I'm seeing a couple fish on the bed right now and uh, I think that they're hungry. Let's go. All right, guys, and we are about to make the first cast. We are actually running three different angles today. We have a GoPro here, GoPro here, and we also have the big camera, which I am going to be using to point at the fish. So we have a lot of fish in this creek that are on the bed. So we're gonna be sight fishing some of these today. We have one right here in front of us. He's not super big. I think he's about a two pounder, but he's locked on the bed really good. Like you guys can tell, he keeps coming back to that same spot every time. And we're gonna see if we can't get that fish to eat the old mock crawl right here. This is a watermelon red mock crawl. I have this rigged up on a quarter ounce Texas rig and I do have it pegged. And that fish is already interested in that crawl. That was not a good first cast but we are going to fix that and make a better cast. His bed seems to be right in there where my bait is at and he is already looking at it. If you guys have never bed fished before or you've never seen a bed fishing video, sometimes when you're bed fishing, you've got to make a lot of cast, but sometimes you don't. I mean, it just kind of depends on the fish and where they're sitting at. This one, it's seeming like we might have to make a couple of casts, but probably nothing too crazy. Oh my gosh, there's three cruisers right there and they are big. Those are big cruisers. Oh my gosh, that or maybe one of them is his female. Yep, 
they're definitely cruisers because they just darted off like crazy. Those are big fish though. We might have to throw something different at those fish to catch them. I'm not sure. But we're just gonna focus on this one for right now. Those fish are gonna stay in here. Got another cruiser right here as well. One way that you can tell that they're cruisers is you will throw your bait. And literally as soon as you throw your bait, they will get scared and they will spook off from the splash. That is a very telltale sign. See right there, I just reeled my crawl across the top of the water and that fish got so spooked. Those cruisers, they're really hard to catch sometimes. The best way to catch them is usually a weightless stick bait, something like the mock stick. But that cruiser right there is definitely not interested. So we're gonna go back to our bed fish right here and see if we can catch him. Oh, I got him to bite it for the first time right there. Usually once you get them to hit it one time, you know you're gonna be able to catch that fish. So since we got them to hit it one time, we should be able to get them to hit it again. Yep, yep, there he goes. He bit it, he just didn't eat it all the way. That's one thing with the bed fish is that they will just kind of nose at it and try to scare it away rather than eat it. They're not really hungry. They're not trying to eat. They just want to get it off their bed. They hate it being on their bed. You can see he just keeps hitting it and hitting it. He is mad at it. This fish is so catchable. Watch, we're about to catch him on this next cast. Bring that crawl right there on the bed. You can see him going nose down on it. We'll shake it a little bit. Sit there and just shake it back and forth, make him mad. There he goes, nose down on it. He hit it, but he didn't eat it. Yep, he hit it again. We're gonna get him. He's gonna eat it good one of these times. There he goes, nose down on it again. He ate it, he just won't eat it all the way. Come on. Ooh. Oh, he got it that time. Oh no. No, 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 now I'm in the tree. I set the hook on him. And we caught a tree, but it turns out he just had the pincher. I thought he had the whole bait. I think he did for a split second, but we don't have any pinchers left. He ate both of them off. That's gonna happen when you're bed fishing. So let's get another one out. There we go, right there. And don't forget, if you guys do wanna pick up some mock crawls or any of the other baits, they are available exclusively at Tackle Warehouse. I have a link in the description down below. All you have to do is go down there and click on it. It'll take you straight to the page where you can buy these things. And if you guys do use the code, it does help me out. But me, along with a couple of the other guys, we designed these and we love the way that these baits turned out. And clearly the fish do too. If I can just get this one to quit being so stubborn, we'll be okay. He's gonna eat it. Yep, he just got so mad at it. Just sit there and just shake it back and forth. No, 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 no. He had it again. He had it again. That time he didn't get my pincher. But he actually had it that time. Just not good. He took it and was running with it. Got him. Got him that time. Yes, sir, let's go. Let's go, baby. This is not a two pounder, but that is our first fish of the day. Right there. Boom. There we go on the mock crawl. That's probably my first bed fish of the year, honestly. Well, no, it's not. First bed fish of the year here, that's for sure. There we go. Nice, beautiful little bass. Let's go ahead and get a release on him. It is a little bit of a drop right here, but he's going to be just fine. Give him a little bit of a toss. There he goes. 
and he is gonna go right back over there to his bed. As long as you take these fish and you put them back right away, they'll be perfectly fine. They'll go right back to their bed and you will be good to go. Awesome first fish right there. Let's go see if we can find another bass. I know there's some big ones in here. I've seen them in here. Let's go for a little walk and see if we can find us another bass. Maybe a bigger one. I'm grabbing a couple of these muck curls just to throw them in my pocket so that way we'll have them. And we're gonna go for a little hike through the jungle right here to see if we can find us another bass in this tiny creek. This creek is such a cool place to catch fish. It's super shallow, like two foot at the most. It's loaded with rocks and it is crystal clear when the water is at a good level. And man, we just found a big one right here. That one right there is a stud. I'm not sure how big it is, but it's gotta be over three. And it looks like that fish is locked on the bed pretty good too. We're gonna find out, but she's looking like she's locked on pretty good. All right, and we're gonna keep throwing this same bait because we just caught a fish on it and it's working good, so why not throw it a little bit more? This fish is a little bit more skittish than that other one, but not much. I still think we're gonna be able to catch her. I might have to be a little bit more quiet, less talking, because these fish can hear, but we'll see. But that is a good fish for sure. I'm really hoping that she's going to hate this crawl being on her bed. She's already nose down on it. Oh yeah, she's going to eat too. Oh, oh, dude. Oh my gosh, that snake was like tracking me down. Y'all could probably see that all on GoPro. That that actually just gave me the heebie-jeebies. That was a black snake, I'm pretty sure. But I could hear something and I looked over and he's sitting here with his head up, hissing and coming straight at me. That's why I got my snake boots on, man. Look, these things come up so they can't get me, but they can still get my knees. Oh, that kind of scared me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit shaken up from that. Oh my gosh, there's a big one over there that's a cruiser too. That's probably like a four and a half pounder, five pounder maybe. Here she comes. Might have to try a different color, which I have the white one with me. And the white one, y'all should be able to see the bait too on the big camera. Bumper in the head, make her mad. Yep, see how I just bumped her in the head and then she turned around and ate it. Sometimes that's what you have to do for these fish that are a little bit more stubborn, especially some of the big ones. Sometimes these big ones are very, very smart. So you'll have to bump them in the head and really make them mad. And sometimes that'll, that'll get them to eat. So we'll wait for her to get back on the bed good. There she goes, nose down on it. She's not nosing on it good though. Let's do this. I'm gonna put on this white curl. That way the fish is seeing something a little bit different and also so y'all can actually see the bait on the bed better. Cause I think that'll look really cool. I can see really good. Like, I can see my bait the whole time, but I'm not sure if you guys can or not. So, we'll put this white one on there. I think I should be able to get her to hit this white one, too. She's locked on enough where she should eat it. Yeah, y'all can see that way better. There she goes. She just ate it. There she goes. She just ate it again. She likes the white. We'll see if we can get her to eat it and hold on to it. You can see that she kind of picked it up and then just like let go of it. Sometimes they do that and it's really hard to get a hook set in the middle of that.
All right, fish. There's the crawl. Come and eat it. Yep, she ate it. That's the hot spot right there. Yep, she ate it again. She's gonna eat. I'm just having a little bit of fun with her. I could have probably set the hook by now, but I want her to eat it good. When you're bed fishing, you'll kind of figure out there's one spot where they really hate your bait being at. And for this fish, it's somewhere right over here on this outside edge. Yep, she ate it again. I just gotta get her to eat it and hold it. The best thing is whenever they pick it up and they're trying to bring it off the bed, that's when it's pretty easy to actually get in a hook set. Oh, I probably could have set the hook right then. Oh, I definitely could have set the hook right then. I just didn't. Let's try that again. That was perfect. If I can get her to do that one more time, we're going to be golden. She should eat it right here. Just sit there and shake it a little bit. There she goes. Just bit the pinchers. Eat the whole thing, girl. Come on. Come on. Just eat the whole thing. Come on. Come on. You're getting fired up. Yep. She is so mad at it. <laughs> She's about to eat it. She bit at that time. She bit it, just not crazy good, but she did bite it. Yep, you see she just kind of picked it up to move it off the bed. Got her. Got her. Oh yeah, let's go baby. Let's go. Let's go, that is a nice fish. Oh my gosh, what a healthy bass. Oh man, on the mock crawl. If you guys ain't throwing it, you're missing out. That's all I can say. And if you guys aren't bed fishing, you're missing out. That's a good solid two and a half pound fish right there. Man, she is super strong. We're gonna give her a little toss down there. There she goes. That was awesome. Let's go. That was awesome. And this rod is handling it perfectly today. In the past, I've used like seven foot medium heavies, but this rod, the seven six heavy action, it's been perfect. We're catching these fish that are down here 
kind of in this little drop off creek. Let me make sure that I don't run up on another snake. I mean, if there ever was a place for a snake to live, it would be here. That ain't no lie. But sometimes you got to get off the beaten path to catch some bass. And I haven't seen any more, so we are going to move a little bit further down the creek and see what we can find. All right, well, I found another fish on the bed. This one is in a little bit of a harder area to get to, but he's down there. And he's locked on. The only bad thing is that we're not gonna get crazy footage on the big camera because there's a bunch of pollen on the water. But we should be able to get a little bit of footage. That fish is already staring straight at it right there. This one is being a little bit more stubborn. And it is hard to see him. Which this water is clear, but also it is smart if you're gonna be bed fishing to get you a pair of glasses, polarized glasses, not just any glasses that have to be polarized, but that helps get rid of the glare whenever you're trying to see in the water. All right, well, I found me two more bed fish. There's one there, one here. This one right here is not locked on very good, and neither is the other one. One of these fish is actually sitting right here, but I'm not sure which bed fish that is. But they are not locked on very good. I can sit here and waste a bunch of time trying to catch them, but some fish are just not easily catchable, so. It makes more sense to go find new fish and that's what we're gonna do before we leave i am going to try something i did see a bunch of cruisers whenever we were fishing man these ticks are bad anyways i saw a bunch of cruisers when we were bed fishing so i'm gonna try throwing a wacky rig i have the mock stick here and a very very small wacky rig hook which I wish I could use a bigger hook so I had more weight to cast, but we're gonna work with this. I wanna use a smaller hook because these fish can see very, very well. This water is crystal clear in here. But honestly, a wacky rig is probably the best bait to throw for a cruising bass. And what I mean by cruising is the fish are swimming around and looking for a place to spawn. They haven't actually made a bed yet. They haven't actually laid their eggs. They're just getting ready to do it. And whenever they're doing that, they're very, very skittish. You can catch them, but it doesn't happen very often. And almost every time that I catch a cruising fish, it's on a wacky rig. So I brought some mock sticks with me, just in case we needed to throw it a few cruisers. And in case And just in case we needed to throw it on Texas rig. Ow. But I'm going to walk down here where the snake almost killed me. Let's see if we can find any of these cruisers to possibly throw at. I don't even know if I can cast this bait on this rod. Maybe I should do a little test cast. That actually is not bad. Now, how accurate am I going to be able to get with this rod? I don't know. But we can try it. And that mock stick looks beautiful down there. I see a cruiser down here. It's a big one too. Let me see if I can cast to it. I cannot even see my bait and I'm over a tree. She's looking at it. I got her. 
and I'm in the tree. Oh no. Oh no. This is going to be interesting. Yes. We got her out. We got her out. Come on, let's get her up on the bank. Yes, sir. Let's go, dude. Oh my gosh, what a chunk. Wow, I cannot believe that actually worked. I mean, I saw that fish coming for it. And she actually ate the mock stick. I don't have my mock stick anymore. But we just caught a cruiser on a 7.6 heavy rod with the mock stick. Let's go, dude. Give her a little toss. That was awesome. Took my mock stick, so we have to grab another one of those. But that was really cool. I did not mean to get hung in that tree like I did, but we got the fish out. We got her back in the water. She is swimming around peacefully, and that is what matters. Let's see if we can find us another one that'll eat the mock stick. So these are the ones right here that I'm rocking with. Watermelon red flake. That's just what I've been using completely today, except for that white crawl because the water is so clear. I mentioned this in another video, but if you guys do pick up some of the mock sticks, they have a little circle right here that marks center mass. That way, whenever you wacky rig it, it has the perfect action every single time. That is a cool little fun fact about the mock stick. Like I said earlier, it is available on Tackle Warehouse. I'm not trying to sit here and sell you on everything in the world, but I did have a part in designing these things and they do work really well. So I want you guys to try them, you know? I also want to make sure this snake isn't going to eat me again. Going through the daggum briar patch right here, son. Oh no, I'm going to rip my shirt. I am wearing a blue and white colored shirt. The reasoning for the blue and white colored shirt is because you actually blend in with the sky when you're sight fishing. Now, does that matter all the time? No. Does it matter sometimes? Yes. The fish could still see me today some of the time, but also sometimes they couldn't. So, oh, dude, there's a cruiser right here in front of me. It might be the fish I already caught. I don't know. He has not seen my bait yet. I was about to leave. I just caught that cruiser, but I just found another fish on the bed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this mock stick over there. I'm going to try my hardest. Oh, I did get it over there. Dude, no way. First cast. And then he came off. What? First cast. Dang it. Dude, I can't believe he bit it on the first cast. And I don't know how I missed him. But somehow I did. He's going to eat it again. Got him that time. Yes, sir. Let's go. That is number four out of this creek. Every time I get ready to leave, I see another fish and I'm able to catch them. <laughs> but I do think that this is going to be our last one. And the hook just fell right out right there. Man, what a healthy bass. They're not huge, but man, they are fat. They are healthy and I love catching them. Let's go ahead and get this fish back in the water and there she goes right back to her bed awesome usually i can find a fish or two from this tree up here but we'll see if they're here right now there's one right there oh i got one like that there we go i finally got one of them hooked up that time he actually ate it there we go oh my gosh that's a big one dude that's a big one come here come here this is a pre-spawner right here baby come here 